Here's Peter Follinsby at Phil Lowe's Furniture Institute of Massachusetts, demonstrating a variety of 17th century stock preparation and joinery techniques. He starts by scoring and splitting an oak billet. He follows that with a hatchet to take off some of the high spots, since this piece is a bit twisted. Next he splits off the sapwood and the pith with a fro. Back inside, he starts dressing the board with a scrub plane. He follows that up for his final surface with the joiner. Here he's putting on layout lines for mortises. And then chopping out the mortise with a nice big pig sticker chisel. Next he bores holes in the mortise sides through which he'll eventually drive his peg. Here he's cutting a shoulder for a tenon, followed by splitting it out with a chisel. He cleans that up with a nice big framing chisel. Now he's narrowing the tenon just a bit. That's a nice fit first time. The tenon length just needs to be shortened a bit, followed by shaving the corners down. Now he's driving small billets for the pegs. These get shaved down to shape and then pointed with a knife. Now the pegs go through the joint. Note that he's already drilled a hole in the tenon, slightly offset from the hole in the mortise.
The offset hole causes the peg to bend. That puts it under tension, pulling the joint up tight. This is a drawboard joint. No glue is required. A little final trimming of the peg ends, and this joint is going to hold for hundreds of years.